Hello my fellow freaks, I'm your dark overlord, the chaotic freak, and today we're going to get to play more Dragon Age Origins. I said that really fast, and I'm very sorry for that, but I think you get the idea. Um, so last time we had uh, saved a dog, almost got robbed, got Liliana on our party, got Sten on our party, and we're solving the many, many issues going on in Lothering. Um, today we are going to be finishing all of those issues. Um, I also did do some uh, equipment stuff uh, while I was while we were off screen. Um, we got Morgan with a better staff. Uh, gave got Alistair a better sword. Got Spaz some better uh, war paint. Just you know, just upgrading a few stuff. And for anyone that does play this game on their own, um, whether it's after the, after I play this or while I'm playing it, um, if at any point you uh, let's get to this point in the game, I just just you upgrade some of your equipment, but but not all of it. There's a lot of really good equipment you can actually get here, but the thing is, for a little while you can still come back to Lothering. It won't be available forever, but at some point, at some point, Lothering won't stop becoming a place you can go to. But for a little while, you can still, come, you can still keep coming back here. So don't spend all your money right now, because you're gonna want to save some of that money, because you'll find even better equipment later on as well. So I recommend just upgrading a few things like. If you see a really good weapon, maybe go ahead and get that. Some really good armor or a shield or something. You know, small things, just a few small things that you think are really beneficial to you throughout the game. For example, Spaz's war paint. You don't find a whole lot of war paint, honestly. And the war paint I found for him, in my opinion, is really helpful because it gives him plus two stamina regeneration in combat. Um, so yeah, so like that's one of the things I was just I was, I was just getting. It really just kind of depends on how you want to play the game in court. Play the game, of course. Um, also, I went ahead and downloaded some of my uh, downloadable, old downloadable content, and uh, I got this armor right here. This is called Blood Dragon Armor. Now, this is only the plate armor. Like, this is only the torso. You have to buy, you have to buy the boots, the gloves, and the helmet, which I believe you can do from a merchant that stays in your campsite. Uh, I think that's where you can get those. Also, this is what I put onto Mor to Morgan, uh, this stash of Forbidden Secrets. That's actually, I, I don't remember where I got that, I didn't, apparently that was from one of the downloadable contents, but I don't remember which one. Uh, I think it was, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know where, where it came from. But I, after, I downloaded all, after I downloaded all the content, I found that um, it's, basically a, it's basically a blood magic sash, but it really helps every mage, it's just even better for blood, for blood mages. Um, so yeah. And uh, I think you can actually you can actually sell it for quite a bit of money though honestly, but anything special like this I would not recommend selling here in Lothering because again, eventually you stop being able to come back to Lothering. So I'd recommend waiting until the merchant is in your campsite and selling stuff to him because that's the best place you probably get it. Plus also he discounts everything so you can actually get a bit of a better price from him. Um so yeah, and oh sparkly and items over here and this ripple. Elf fruit. Perfect. Totally worth it. And I'm going to go talk to this kid now. Um, because I never did before. I'll probably just put Lady on, Lady on my party. Whatever. Beat it. No. Um, it depends. Who is your mother? Well, that's sad. Do you know your father is? He went, he went with Willie to the neighbors yesterday, but he didn't come back. Come with me, I'll help you look for your mother. Mother said I wasn't going anywhere. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. Fine, fine. I go to the Tantry, someone will look after you. Uh, according to my sister, well, okay, if you give him the silver, apparently he wants to become a beggar if you do that, but if you send him to the Chantry, he, just comes, he come, becomes an orphan, so I kind of know which one you really want to do. Um, I used to always do this one, and then my sister told me why that was why, why that was a bad thing, so I wanted to do this one instead, the, go, go to the Chantry one, so, yeah. I will, I will, but only if I don't find Marvel, sir. Yes, what do you ask? Father 
Well, that was nice. Anyway, um, oh, I didn't even realize there are statues of, of are those from Bari or horses. One of the two. It's kind of hard to tell, honestly. Huh. I never noticed that before. Cool. I'm pretty sure those are Mabari. Let's be, let's be honest, Mabari are just awesome. But yeah, um, this is probably going to be the main party I'm going to be taking with me. Uh, I, I might switch out Spaz every now and then with the, um, some, somebody different, but mainly I'm going to be taking Morgan as my mage, and Alice as, as my warrior, and then I'm going to be, of course, the rogue of the party, and then Spaz will be what I refer to as a special character. Um, also, uh, I have not finished the uh, mission for the poisons, but I will show you guys how to do that right now. So all you need to do in order to create venom is get a flask and talk and one toxin extract per, per venom. You can buy flasks from Bartran, the guy who actually asks you to make the poison, and then you can also buy the venom extracts from the guy who was uh, who was overpricing everything. However, I think you can also find some toxin extracts if you just go outside the village and just keep heading in the like. Just go exploring, you can potentially find Toxic Strikes out there, but honestly, I usually just buy flasks and Toxic Strikes to finish the uh, objective. No, it I'm usually not. costs about as, as much as it would to, uh, or I think it costs about as much as it would to um, finish the mission, uh, but I believe that the mission also gives you experience, so even though you don't necessarily gain money, you do gain experience for finishing the mission. Also, yes. I'm drinking Orange Crush because it's awesome. Actually, not sponsored. They wouldn't mind being sponsored by Orange Crush or Crush or whatever company that makes this. But I just don't know. But hey, if they ever want, if they ever do want to, no, give me a sponsorship. I wouldn't mind. Because everyone would totally want to be sponsored. Uh, I have what you asked for. Come on, my land. You need 75 silver, that's a whole lot of money, isn't it? Um, now, unfortunately, the girl that wants to make traps without poison, um, I have not gotten the ability to do so yet, because none of my party members have the ability of trap making. Uh, and I might... Uh, I'm not sure exactly when I'll do that, if I ever am going to do it. But like I said, you can come back to Lothering for a little while, why is there a lot of buzzing outside my window? Is that a plane? Oh, that's a lawnmower. That's gonna be like, um, I think, hang on. Let me figure out what that is. Yeah, someone is, mow is mowing the lawn very close to, um, uh, to our dorm. Yeah, I don't care about your gossip. Uh, but yeah, this lady, I don't think that I can actually, uh, I can't, I can physically, physically can't do a request right now. Um, I might come back to Lothering later on once I have trap making, uh, if I, you know, uh, get there before, if I get a poor Lothering, uh, so I take it you it's no longer available. <laughs> Sometimes their dialogue is just great, honestly. I love Alistair so much. His, his lines are probably some of the best you'll ever find in the game, to be honest. <clears throat> Uh, in my opinion, of course. So, oh, also, something I forgot to mention until just now, I'm on 95 subscribers right now. Uh, I've been asking quite a few people around campus to subscribe to me, and, oh, whoops. Hang on. Uh, I want to talk for a moment. I should have pet him. I'm sorry. No! Okay, I'll pet, pet you now, okay? Come on, stand up. I'll pet you. Yeah, if you pet him, he just rolls around happily anyway, so yeah. Now, let me look in the pile of filth. Thank you. Alright, gotta eat mushroom. If it's in a pile of filth, you definitely want to eat that mushroom. Anyway, so yeah, I'm at 95 subscribers now. I want to thank everybody for subscribing. Uh, and we are super close to 100. we have I've been stuck at 92 for the longest time. It was like a curse. Every time I would gain subscribers, someone would also immediately unsubscribe, so I would, also, I would constantly stay at 92 subscribers. 
Oh, it's pissing me off. But now we're at 95, so thank you everyone for subscribing to that to, to my channel. We are only 5 away from 100. I am going to do a 100 subscriber special at some point. Just, no, not until I actually hit 100, 100 subscribers. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet. I have too many ideas. I'll be discussing this in a separate video at some point. I just wanted to thank you guys for getting to me 95. So, yeah. Now we're going to go ahead and start doing a whole bunch of quests. There's a lot of encounters that are, that are here out of the village, out in this area. Um, some are quest related, some are not. Oh, actually, before I come out here, there's another thing I want to check. I was looking at your nose. And what is it about, what my, is nose it about my nose that captivates you, sir? I was just thinking that, that it looks exactly, exactly, like, your exactly your like your mother's. I hate you so much. So much. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Morgan's like being compared with her mother. Anyway, what I wanted to, what I wanted to do was this Chandra's board right here, which I'm actually going to switch Morgan out for Liliana again, because I think Morgan's going to complain otherwise. And sometimes, sometimes it's just... Sometimes I just don't want a witch complaining at you, you know what I mean? So yeah. Oh, uh, well, you actually do enter the... You just talk to the guy next to the border. To, hang on, I'll, I'll explain... Uh, th this encounter right here is going to explain exactly what the change board is. This conversation. And I lean, spoke unto the masses. My half is yours. My bread is yours. My life is yours. All who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. You see, you understand it perfectly now, don't you? Uh, okay, so basically this guy, well, okay, they're gonna explain it, so I'm not gonna bother explaining it myself. And who are you exactly? He nods and smiles. Smile back. Let all repeat, Let all the, repeat chant the chant of light. Only the word, Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't argue. He can't argue. He's chanted Devon. He's chanted Devon. <sighs> What's a chanter? One of them that can, only, them say that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed, fixed Widow Allison's roof one. And the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the So yeah, he can only speak the chant of light. Unless it's the chant of light. Can't speak anything else. So Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant, the then the golden city is thine, so I love the first line. <laughs> you, uh, that would be so rude to say. Uh, I don't know if I, ever, if, I ever, if I actually said that. I don't know what his response would be to that. But I prefer, for, I prefer this one, though. It turns says what? 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 <laughs> oh, you've gotten to speak. <laughs> What hath man, man sin wrought? Oh, he cheated. Oh, he cheated. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, you can, uh... Blessed are the peace. Champions of the champions champions of you can the check death. the board. It basically is just a whole bunch of side quests that you can do. Um, at the moment there's only one, but more do become available. So this one is basically, uh, just outside the village, there are some bandits that you need to take care of. So, yeah. And then you come back and you turn it in and you get paid for it. <clears throat> And you turn it into the chanter, though, not to the board. Uh, and more to become available as you do some more qu some more of the quests that are on there. Uh, this first encounter, however, isn't actually going to be uh, the chanter board. This isn't going to be the board. It's going. This is actually just a different encounter, which is a really sad one, in my opinion. I don't know if you kill King Caelan and make her forgive me. I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! Yeah, so because Loghain has a bounty on us for being great wardens, because we supposedly killed the, uh, the king, uh, they're fighting us so they can get money, because a lot of people are hungry and they need the food. It, like I said, it's very sad. It's literally... It's only happening because of desperation, and it's just... very sad, honestly. But these are also very these people are also very easy to fight and kill. Which is also kinda of sad, honestly.
Uh, also, Leliana, I forgot to mention this, she has uh, a sustained ability, which I believe is active right now. If you heard her yell out in the beginning of the fight, it's the Song of Valor. I'll go ahead and turn it off, and well, when it comes back, I'll turn it back on. Okay, now it's back, and if you just look at this... Yeah, she actually yells out to activate that ability. It's called Song of Valor. It's supposed to get, it's, it gives everyone in the party certain benefits. Um, like, you see how uh, everyone's glowing a bit? I don't know if the glowing metal when we go. But whatever. Anyway, I just don't really want her in my party right now. I'm gonna switch her out with Morrigan. I meant to do that earlier and just forgot. Leon yeah, has a mouth sometimes. Well then. So yeah, um, Morrigan, what sustainabilities do you have? I don't even know what sustainabilities you have. Frost opens. That'll work. So everyone, well, Spaz, his entire body is just glowing white, but. Now we all just have ice damage added to our attacks, so. Yeah. Enemies ahead. Enemies ahead. And I believe, the, I believe this is the bandits that the board wanted us to deal with. And we do open fighting. Or dual strike gaming, not dual open fighting. Um, I don't feel like they're doing a whole lot of damage. Like, I, I feel like they're not doing nearly as much damage as they should be. I mean, just because this is Labari has a whole lot. Labari's are strong. That's pretty all it is, honestly. Oh! Alistair died. That's not good. I need to heal up, or else I'm gonna join him. Oh, I'm gonna stamina, too. Oh, that's interesting. I, get it. I went ahead and put, took off dual striking, because it wasn't. I, I didn't feel like it was doing nearly as much as it should be, honestly. Hey, don't stun me! I stun you! I'm the rogue here. Grin, so are you, but still. <sighs> Master, you okay, buddy? You alright? No? Okay. You dead? That's fine. I don't care if you're a zombie. And none of them have anything on them. Okay. But that was a quest, though, so now we can go turn it in for money. But I'm gonna do full lap of this area because there's still more stuff we can do. For example, there are these people also. And this, this is actually a. This, is this the bandits one? No, I don't think it's the bandits one. Yeah, I actually like this fight because you can actually get uh, some really good armor and weapons here for Sten. Uh, they, there's stuff here spe that's specifically meant for him. So, yeah. <sighs> Come on, die, kill him, Barry. I'll also died again. Awesome. Why is that? Maybe, I guess because he's better armor, or constitution, or both. Oh, I'm gonna die. Shit. Uh, well, that's not good. Die. Thank you. If you could die also, that'd be great. Thank you. Oh, there's still one guy alive. Oh, and Spaz is dead. Awesome. Haha, -ha, get stunned. Give me some health. Get frozen. I know pretty much out of abilities. The only thing I can do now is turn into a giant spider. Which I just don't think is gonna be helpful in this situation, honestly. I might be wrong, but that's just how I feel. And there's actually a uh, you get there's actually a potion to um oh there's still someone alive really okay I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys there's there's this thing called Lyrian potion right here uh it well this is a less Lyrian potion so it's just less effective than a regular one but basically they will both uh re regain mana they don't help with stamina. Uh, stamina draughts don't become available until Dragon Age Awakening and then Dragon Age 2. Uh, before that, all you have is, is stuff for mana, nothing for stamina, because they just didn't think it would make sense for their basement for stamina, I guess. Also, I'm going to show you guys what it's like to turn to a giant spider. I'm, I'm just going to show it to you. Yes, now a giant spider. Morgan has a shape she can do, that's why she can do that. Um, and then she has uh, this poison spit ability and this web ability, which giant spiders have, and that's it. So I'm gonna go and web this guy. And then I'm also gonna poison spit at him. And then I'm just gonna rub and attack him. So yeah. <laughs> It's something that it's a specialization you can get as a mage, and Morgan is the one that comes with it naturally. You can actually get another mage later on in your party who can learn it uh, if you get Morgan to teach it. Um, also, if you're a mage, you can learn it as well, Morgan. But you have to learn it from Morgan, though. So yeah, 
I, I, I think it's a pretty interesting ability, to be honest. Uh, it's kind of funny to just, run, just turn to a giant spider and, and run at someone. On, uh, I, I like it. it. It's weird, but it's fun at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna give him way more constitution because he needs more. Well, I gave him two points. I'm also gonna give him some dexterity because he's gonna need some of that. Uh, and the specialization gives you points. Gives you uh, this kind of tree, like this Templar trees, because uh, Alistair is specialized as a Templar. Warriors can become Templars. Uh, well, it's one of their specializations. They can also become um, Reavers, Berserkers, and I forget what the fourth one is. And the mages, there's Blood Mage, Shapeshifter, Spirit Healer, and Arcane Warrior. And for a rogue, there's Bard, which is what Liliana is, Assassin, um, Ranger, and I forget the fourth one that is also. Oh, Duelist, right. I'm probably going to wind up being um, a Duelist and Ranger. Uh, personally, what I think is meant for the rogue class is if you're an archer, you're supposed to be a bard and a, um, a bard and a ranger, and then if you're a dual, dual weapon fighter, then you're supposed to be a, uh, <clears throat> um, a duelist and an assassin, just because that's kind of what those specializations are more for. Ranger and bard is more for sitting back and supporting the party, while duelist and assassin are more for getting up in people's faces and fighting them. But honestly, I just don't like the assassin specialization. It, it's not really that good in my opinion, so I'm not taking it. So yeah, uh, so I can give, so for Alistair's level up, I'm just going to give him shield wall. It's another sustained ability he can use to help raise defense and whatnot. Um, also, I know injured, Spaz is injured, Alistair has three injuries, and Morgan has zero. Might want to fix that. Hmm. See, so you can actually use injury kits to get rid of the injuries. Um, Alistair, I'm not going to bother healing him. Uh, I thought I had a regular injury kit. One, a lesser injury kit heals one injury. Uh, a full injury kit heals three of them. However, apparently I only have lesser ones, so I'm not going to bother giving any to Alistair for now. Uh, I probably will later, or um, unless he gets healed in camp before then. Whenever you go to camp, it also restores your injuries. Uh, anyway, so I believe the guy over here who had the really fancy equipment was the guy with all the... Yeah, this is all the stuff that you're that you. It's probably better to give to Sten because it's all kind of more geared towards him. It's all super heavy and really strong. Blah blah blah. Imagine you go ahead and equip it on him right now. I mean, give it to Alistair. So huh? Oh, he can't wield it. It's too heavy. Oh my god. It requires twenty-two strength. What's he? Oh wait, no, that that I'm on me. Whoops. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> I, was like, I don't remember him not being able to wield it. Uh, the helmet's the only thing in question, and it's still better. Alright, so this is what Sten looks like now, everyone. So, yeah, I'm going to put him out of party again. Because uh, I don't know if I'm going to be using him a whole lot. Uh, I'll switch out with Alistair every now and then. But mainly I'll be keeping Alistair, Morgan, and Spaz in my party. So, yeah. And anyway, I believe there's another quest we can do up here. Or no, that way that's the Changes Ward arrow. Never mind. But yeah, there should be some enemies up here, though. I think just bears, or is it spiders? One of the two? Spiders, I think. Yep, spiders. Uh, no, dodge the webs. Crap. But my projectile weapons can follow you, so just try to dodge them like that. It, 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 it's usually not going to work. Arrows and stuff won't, really, won't usually follow you, but they'll still, uh... The, this game, honestly, as far as, like, when you do and don't get damaged, like, you try to dodge an arrow, Chances are you're still gonna get hit by it because just because of it figures that if it already targeted you, that's still gonna damage you. Plus, arrows move so fast; it's kind of hard to to avoid them anyway. Honestly, but the spider webs, the spider web will follow you. So will spells. It's just they're very hard to avoid. It's not like impossible, but it's very difficult. And this is where you can find a whole bunch of toxic extracts if you don't want to um, go and buy them. You can just get them from giant spiders.
So yay! Oh, more bandits. Oh, this is where the- okay, so pretty much there were three sets of bandits, I guess. The one those the, the, the Panari, the guys I fought earlier, and then these guys. This is what the arrow is pointing to, not the champion sport. That was my bad. I'm sorry. So yeah, three sets of bandits, you gotta kill all three of them, and then you can go turn in the quest. Or at least this one and the first ones we fought, maybe the ones with the Canari armor weren't actually the uh, part of the quest, but I think they- I think they were. Maybe. I don't know. Don't ask me questions, why do you think I know things? I've only played this game over two dozen times. It's not like I've tested stuff to determine what is and isn't true. Why do you think it would just not something as silly as that? <laughs> See, I think this is the area where the poison traps are supposed to be, but um, I don't. But they're not actually active right now, so... Yeah, I don't know if they ever be do become active, but... They're not active at the moment, at the very least. Oops, I can go down that way. Come on, go away, invisible walls. Thank you. It looks like go up that way, though, doesn't it? But whatever. See, this is just a bit of a faster way back rather than going around the farm. You can just go through it. Plus, there's more offered right here. So, there's that. I thought, it was, okay, there's uh, Alfred right here, but I was actually thinking about the chest. I remember there was some sort of item back here. I just can't remember what. And it was Lester's Spirit Bomb. Totally worth it. Spirit Bomb is basically, um, if you use it and you get hit by an attack that deals spirit damage, it won't be as effective. But that's all it does. So, not the best thing in the world, but not the worst thing either. Um, I'd go turn in the Chantry Report quest. So yeah, you just gotta go talk to the guy, and you'll be able to turn it in. And I thought more you can be... Well, no. Whatever. I still lost stuff. Then... I thought was true might not have been like earlier like I think I think I don't remember if I moved Morgan out of my party or not I remember if I talked to this guy but I, th I thought that if I didn't move her out that she would have gotten annoyed of me doing it but whatever yeah I had Lily out of my party so Morgan wasn't there so I don't know if that would have been true or not I think she would have though I mean it's really not that big a deal I mean it's only like, oh cool three gold that's actually quite a bit um, it really wouldn't be that big a deal. She might have just proved by like five points, but that would have been it. So it it could be a lot worse, honestly. Whatever. It's a little bit of approval. It's very easy to get her approval back up, though. So yeah, then you have a quest when bears attack, which is over where all the spires were. Now you have bears instead. And then the last keepsake is um, what is this? Tinchwigger here. Prize for visitors and the various days. So there's a oh yeah, the boy that we uh, helped at the bridge. We we sent him to the chantry. This quest is trying to learn of the fate of his mother. So you just gotta go find her, her body and to figure out what happened. Or find her. I mean, the assumption is that she's dead, and yes, she is dead, so you just gotta go find her body. And figure out what happened. I think they asked like, for, for a particular item from her body to show proof that you actually found her dead. So yeah. Which I think she's... No, she's not up here, she's over there. Actually, weren't there wolves or something over her body that you had to kill? Can we not ride these, we not ride these animals off? Yep, wolves. Like I said. Oh, there are a lot of wolves. Wait. Oh, there are more wolves pushing from over there. Guess I'm wrong. Oh, they're pushing from over here! Oh, there they are. Okay. See, so, yeah, there are quite a few wolves, actually. Um, <laughs> I just was looking the wrong way, it was all. I'm gonna go help Alistair because he's gonna die if I don't. Please don't die this time. Please don't die this time, Alistair. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill Alistair because he's about to die. He's getting hit by all the wolves. All the wolves decide to attack him at once. It's logic, I suppose. Get, just, just stop fighting me for a moment. Next up here. No, okay. Or attack that one. Someone wants you to do whatever. Hey, look, we got the all of Alistair because they're all dead. Okay, much better. Um, so where's your body? It's right there. So this is the boy's mother. And then you find her keepsake, and then you just gotta go turn in. And now time to kill the bears.
Oh, I thought they were trying to, like, over where the cave was. No, they're just near it. Alright. Isn't there a one that comes from over there? I think it's not. Whatever. Repetos! Bears are on, honestly aren't that big a deal. You'd think bears would be difficult to fight, but they're usually some of the easiest beasts you can fight in the game. Like, the wolves were more difficult because there, there were so many of them. But the bears were just, they're just easy. Was it also a death route? Yeah. Alright. Time to go back. Alright, so this time we got fi only 50 silver for those two quests, but we also got this weapon right here, Oathkeeper. Um, which is actually a pretty good sword, honestly. It's, I mean, well, if you look at it, it's right here. I, I like it. It's better than the Dwarven Longsword, which I bought from the dude who was, you know, trying to sell everything way overpriced. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and equip it. I'll go ahead and put, give the Dwarven Longsword to Alistair. Uh, cause it's better than even Sir, Sir, Gar Sir Gar cause even better than Sir Garland's Sword, which is what I originally had equipped. So yeah. That's gone. And I can go ahead and sell... Oops. I can go ahead and sell Sir Garland's Sword. And yeah. Uh, is that everything on the board? Yeah. Now, unfortunately, we're not gonna leave the Ring just yet, because there is also some stuff we can do in the Chantry. There's, like, a few, uh... Conversations we can get, we can get some items, uh, and also some experience from like codex and stuff. Once we do that, we'll be done with everything in Lothering except for the one trap making quest, because I don't have trap making. So, yeah. I really thought that Liliana would have trap making, but I guess but, mm, she doesn't, so. Wait, can I talk to that guy over there? Does he even say anything special? No? Okay. We're just gonna sit there? Fine. Alright, now this guy, earlier we saw him talking, well, when we first came in, he was talking to a couple of warriors, but I just kind of skipped over it because, uh, I just didn't really want to deal with a whole bunch of stuff, I just wanted to deal with Stan, and then get done with the, with, um, this area. So, or get done with that episode, so yeah. Now we can talk to him. Yes. Yes. You be. Who might you be? Uh, you can call me, uh, I am the Grey Warden Chaotic. I see. I see. I'm Sir Bryant, I'm Sir Bryant commander, of the commander of the Lothering Templars. Ten Logan declared all Grey Wardens, Wardens traitors, traitors responsible, for, responsible for the King's death. You know this. You know this, I hope. Uh, the Grey Wardens did no such thing. I don't believe the Grey, Wardens, believe the Grey would Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. Well, either, way, well, either way, there it is. There it, is. it, is, best you not it is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Just in case. But those bandits of the village. How many times must we drive them off? One less. I drew them. Off. I drew them off myself. Indeed. Indeed. They're gone. They're gone. It's true. It's I true. Saw I saw the fast the hills myself. That's an impressive, That's an impressive feat, feat indeed. Will you accept a small, reward, accept a small for reward for your efforts? Okay. I even know for a fact I updated the game this time. I started it up today, before this episode started, and I updated it. Also, before I saw the main reason people were losing arms was actually whenever they had leather armor gloves. I put leather armor gloves on Alistair, and his arms disappeared. However, these guys still don't have any arms, and I don't know why. It's starting to drive me insane. I don't understand why this is happening. <laughs> uh, but yeah, certainly. Uh, you can do this, persuade and keep an eye out for trouble, for the right, for the right pay, but... Honestly, even if you can convince him of that, he, he just can't afford it, honestly. So, yeah. So certainly, thank you. If it interests, if it interests you, there is a chances, there is a chances outside board outside full of quests doing. that need doing. The chances even, the chances offer, pay even offer pay for some of them. No. No. Unless there's something else. Unless there's something yeah, else you already something got three mean. gold, fifty silver, and, well, three and a half gold because of that. Um, and then the Oath Keeper Blade. So yeah, I already got pretty good stuff for doing Terms of the Village. Um, is there any other help you could offer? I cannot I openly cannot help, help, you, help you, I fear, but here, here take, this key. take this key. It opens the large, opens cabinet, the large on the cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than, there we, can more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. Take what you, need. you could get some information, but uh, I don't really see the need Travel to safely. do that. Travel safely, and may the maker watch, watch over you. See, so, yeah, we got some 20 gold for defeating the bandits, and I'll go talk to that guy in just a second. But first, it's going to open the cabinet. I have done. I have done it. Four health, pul health pulses, ancient elven boots, and then melashite. Malash so the ancient elven boots are pretty good. They're tier four. 
Um, yeah, these are basically the same kind that I have right now. Basically, take elven leather boots and make them ar armored boots. That's the main difference. Um, unfortunately, I can't use them right now. Uh, I think Alistair can. Can he? Yeah, however, he has, currently has an armor set with his chainmail weapons, with his chainmail armor. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give him the elven stuff until I have the full elven set, which I don't know where the other elven items are. They're somewhere, I just don't know where. So I'll have to go find them. Um, but then if you come over here behind all the people praying for their lives because they're gonna die soon, there's a whole bunch of codes you can get. So there's this book right here, which is Adventures of the Black Fox. Uh, there's a chest right here that you can unlock for 20 experience. You can get a uh, gift for Liliana. Um, I thought. I thought there were like three, like at least three codex things back here. Am I wrong? Really? Well, okay then. I guess I was wrong. I really thought I could get a lot more than that. Wait, is there anything over here then? Just find these people? No? Nothing? At all? Not even in this lady's room? In the, uh, revered mother's room? No? I know there was a piece of codex earlier, but... Wow, I thought there was a lot more we could get back there. Okay then, so we're gonna go talk to this guy, Sir Donald. Who? Who? I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I did not see you, approach. Not see you approach. Sir Donald. Sir Donald. Is that you? Is that you? Yeah, answer doesn't. Hey. Yeah, yeah. By the maker. By the maker. How are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. Not yet. No thanks to the turn low game. If Al Eman were well, he'd set low game straight soon enough. If he were well. If he were well. What, what do you mean? What, what do you mean? Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his we life. Have no we have found no either cure, natural either natural or magical. Or magical. When, did when did this happen? Only a few weeks Only ago. Few weeks he ago but he has declined quickly. quickly. No, one knows, no one knows the nature of the illness, and even, and even the magic has done little to slow its progress. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every night of Red Cliff has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes, ashes are said to cure illness. any illness, but I fear we are, chasing, fear we are a chasing a fable. Each day, my, Each day hope my hope dims. I don't take your ashes. Is pretty much Andraste is um, she was the Maker's bride, like she's supposedly the Maker's bride, uh, even though she was human. Uh, and then uh, when she died, her body was burned, and her ashes were put, in, were put in an urn. And supposedly those ashes can cure absolutely any illness in the entire world. Um, I was hoping to meet Arl Eamon, in fact, because remember, Arl Eamon is the guy that we were going to go to uh, for support, one of the, even though he's not someone, even though he's not, um, even though he doesn't have, like, a treaty to help us with the Blight, he's still a really good person, so we're hoping that he might be able to help us with the Blight. So yeah, I was hoping to meet Arl Eamon, in fact. Why is that? Why is that, if I may ask? We need his help against Terran Logan. I see. I see. The Arl is a popular, man. Is a popular it's man, it's true. Ten Logain, Ten Logain however, is a hero throughout, throughout for Elven. Whatever the Ten has done or not done, the Arl remains or ill or worse. That is my primary, that is my concern. primary concern. Fair enough. Do you think Logain is involved with the Arl's illness? The Arl fell ill before the King died. And what if Logain planned that too? Our such thoughts, Our such do, thoughts do not well sit well with me. We should see what's happening, see in, Redcliffe what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that, I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, if nothing I, am else I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesser is there. She, there. Could, she could tell you more than I could. Um, so yeah, if you remember uh, whenever we were first entering the village, next to the bandits there was, there was that dead uh, warrior, Sir Henrik. Well, this, well we, found his, we picked up his locket off his body. This, this is him. This is what we needed it for. And you have his locket. And a note. And a note. Maker's mercy. Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known, otherwise. Never have known otherwise. And if you actually read the note, uh, what he'll say is that um, what it says is he was actually looking for the Earth's Sacred Ashes, and in his quest, he's going to go to the guy, to a guy in um, uh, Denerim. I forget what his name is. Uh, but he was gonna go there and search for him and see if he could actually. Cause supposedly this guy has been research has been searching for the urn for like for like decades. So if anyone would know anything about where it might be, it would be him. So that's where he was gonna go. I drove from the beds that killed him. Thank you, thank you. I wonder how many, I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. 
Tell me more about Earth's Secret Ashes. Supposedly, supposedly, the ashes are the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know, surely you know all this. I'm an elf. We dealers don't learn much about your religion. If you're truly interested, if you're truly interested there, are books here there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found, leads, I have me found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. With Henry gone, With Henry I, need gone to I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later, I, Perhaps will, later, I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. But I must go. Thank you again, good Thank sir. You, again, good you, sir. Have you have been most helpful. Yeah, so unfortunately, um, not a whole lot there. And the urn is a mystery. It, it is actually a quest you have to do later on. You actually do, you actually do have to go find the urn of sacred ashes. Uh, but we'll be saving it for a later date. I'm actually getting this video soon. I just want to get, my, get to my campsite now because I I'm pretty much done Red Cliff. The only thing I have left to do is that one quest with the traps, and I honestly can't do it right now because I still need to um. Well, because I still need to get trap making. I don't know. No, I have nobody that has trap making. So, yeah. I'll get what I can. Also, in my personal skills, do I have stealing? I know Liliana has like tier three stealing, but I don't know if I do. And that actually is important. I do not. That's why the next thing I'm gonna get, but I'll explain why later. So yeah. I'll get. I'll, I might give Liliana or. Someone trap making once I uh once they get the ability to do so, so that I can finish this quest here. Cause I, I I can steal happily. Are you good? There we go. We're all special. Big parts of the play. Even you, especially, even you, especially you, in some ways. You are the you are the Mabari. You guard one of the, most, one people. Of the most important people. What? What? You, you, you want to play? You want to play? But I'm talking. But I'm talking. Why doesn't anyone want to hear me talk? <laughs> Poor Alistair. Um, but yeah. So, um, yeah, I honestly don't think I'm ever going to really use trap making aside from this one quest, so there's not a whole lot of point in me taking it, honestly. So yeah. Also, I just remembered, Spaz, I meant to do this, oh. Well then. But yeah, you can actually have Spaz go out and find your stuff. I remember telling you guys about that earlier, and then I said I was going to actually do stuff with him, and I never did, so we're going to do it now. He doesn't have to do for anything. That's a lie. I know there's stuff in here. I want you to go find the cake. Go find it. Really? Come on. He should know to find stuff. Really? For is This will be the fourth time in a row if he doesn't find something. Okay. That's strange. Usually, you could, I can find all those items here in Lothering. I don't know why he wouldn't find stuff. I'll, whatever, I'll do it later on. It's at a different spot. For whatever reason, he just can't find so, so, anything right now. <clears throat> so yeah, so now we're basically done Lothering. There's just the one quest that we can't do yet. Um, oh, Alfred. Let me go grab that. Actually, two Alfreds. And then we can go up there, and we'll be done. Did you get it? Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I heard you the first time. All of you. There are dark spawn. You must protect the people, because we're Grey Warden. This is what we do. Oh, it's a cool she's not Grey Warden. Technically, you're near Spaz, but Spaz is an honorary Grey Warden, let's be honest. He might as well be a Grey Warden, because he's just, he's just that awesome. Backstab, backstab, backstab. Oh, no more backstab. Oh, I'm about to die. Well then. Whoops. No, no, no. No, no, Okay. Flurry, flurry, flurry. One last dark spawn, and we're done! I still the last, the last hit. Awesome. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. Just how obliged, exactly. You can actually get him to give you more money, but 
Uh, I, I do like getting money for it, but at the same time, it's kind of like, you know, you don't need that much. I think that, honestly, you guys should make him double the amount that you offer. Uh, wait a second, is my... Did the game catch a freeze on me? Alright guys, we're back. Um, sorry about that. I don't know why it stopped doing it, why it stopped recording. It looks like it, for some reason, lost the signal, but whatever. We're right back to where we just, we're, to where we just were. Um, <clears throat> anyway. Also, I just now noticed that it looks much better on the TV than it does on the, um, computer screen. I my TV up, like, uh, my TV settings are probably, uh, probably would just make them do that. Or just because the game capture doesn't pick up as good as it could look. Um, anyway. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so you can get more money, you can accept no money, I'm getting accept just a little bit of money because I do want to get some money but it's not necessary that you get that much. I feel kind of bad if I ask him for any, for really any more than that. This is just fine. Good. Good. One good turn deserves another. That's what the missus always claims. The name's Bodon Fedek, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. I doubt you want to travel with the Grey Warden, honestly. Grey Wardens? Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? I like Bodon, and you will see him again very soon. Um, he is pretty awesome. He's a really good person. Though honestly, I like Sandal a lot more than Bodon, because you will also see a lot more fr about, uh, from Bodon, or from Sandal than you will from Bodon, especially in the second game. In the second game you see them again, and near the end of this game, and near the end of the first part of the second game, there are two very, uh, each of those parts hold some very interesting, uh, Moments with Sandal that you guys will see soon. Uh, well, that you guys will see whenever I get to those parts. Um, you won't be seeing them anytime soon, though, sadly. But yeah, they're, they're a lot of fun. <laughs> Just because Sandal, there's some very interesting stuff about him. Nightmares. Bad dreams. Bad dreams, huh? Must have been something I ain't. Drank more like. Drank more like. As in the tainted blood, remember? You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the dark spawn. That's what your dream was. Hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks, talks to the Horde. To the horde. We, feel we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. What? Didn't Dutton just tell everyone that? He did. He, did. he, said, he, felt he said he felt the Archdemon's presence. Everyone just assumed he was guessing. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. So, yeah, so if you're Grey Warden, you want to hearing Darkspawn and Archdemons and in your bad dreams and whatnot. So yeah, any other surprises I should know about? Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing? No. I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Okay, well, you guys should talk to all your party members here. There's plenty of stuff you can do in camp. There's a few different quests and whatnot. A couple of them, well, one of them is actually because of a uh, downloadable content that I downloaded uh, well, before this video started. So, but we'll be talking to our party members and dealing with the side quests and whatnot in the next episode. So, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to drop a comment, leave a like, and subscribe to my channel for more content. Also, please be sure to follow me on Twitter, just like in, the in the description box below. With all that being said, you know, Carter have, have an absolutely fantastic day. You have no choice. I'll see all you beautiful people in the next video. Stay frick, everyone. Ciao.